There are two new joint pattern paving options, radial and curved path. Radial allows for the creation of concentric circles. Its center is also modifiable via control point, whereby multiple rows of pavers and their sizes can be defined by the original offset and angle between the paver joints as a percentage shift in relation to the previous row. Curved path will attempt to create pavers that follow the contours of a pathway shape. It does not have a control handle for its center, and will instead always attempt to follow the center of the specified pathway. These pavers are defined by their length along the path, width across the path, and an offset distance or percentage in relation to adjacent rows of pavers. Hardscapes can now have a defined slope, which will be reflected in 3D as well as labeled in 2D. When the 3D type of a hardscape is set to slab or modifier, you'll be given options for slope as well as the method for defining the slope. The options include angle, downward and upward percentage, and downward and upward rise over run. You can define not only one, but two slopes in different directions, which will be combined into the overall angle of the hardscape slope. The labels you see here are fully customizable and can even be used to set the slope directly rather than just entering values in the object info palette. Last, boundaries, such as used with curbs and borders, can now have variable heights, allowing a much easier method of displaying these elements in 3D.